Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be on my everyday makeup look for the summer. It's just something very natural but I kept the eyes very warm and pretty glowy. Strawberry highlighting skin and a rosy nude lips. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then keep on watching. So as always, I'm going to have to do my brows and I'll moisturize my face. I use the Scotty Coral Skin and Balance moisturizer so we're going ahead now to apply primer to my face and i'll be using the remo stay matte primer color correcting my face with the ella girl pro conceal and orange corrector for foundation i'm using the black opal foundation and revlon color stay foundation as well mixing both together Highlights, I'll be using the Elega Pro Concealer in Fawn. Setting my concealer with the Makeup Revolution Yellow Powder. So to bake my highlighted areas, I'll be using the Banner Banana Powder to do that. I'll be right back. So the first colour I'll be using is this orangey brown colour and I'll be using this as my transition colour. So now that we have our transition colour, I'll be going back into that same colour again. I'll be applying this all over my lid. Using a blending brush to do that. I'm just packing that all over my lid. So we should have something like this. So using this Bone Natural Palette by Sleek, I'll be taking this um, shade here. It's like a cool bronze color and I'm placing this just in the center of my lid. Okay, so guys, I went ahead to take off that color I placed on my center lid. I wasn't really feeling the color so I just had to take it off. This is pretty much the eye look. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to line my top lash line and then line my waterline. So before that I'm going to be taking off the Bena Banana Powder that's been sitting in my face for about 10 to 15 minutes now. using this gel liner to line my upper lash line. I like to use a gel liner because it dries matte. I think it's a very good dupe for the Inglot number 77. I don't have that but the way this dries matte, I think this happened to be a very good dupe for that. So, yeah. So I'll be lining my waterline with this Remo Scandalized Kajal Pencil in Nude. So I'll be applying to my gel lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm going to head to apply my lashes and they're drying now. So I'll be moving on to applying shadows in my inner corners and I'll be taking this beautiful satin color right here. And by the way, the color is from Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. So I'm moving now to bronze my face and I'll be taking this Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. I'm taking this brown shade here. For blush, I'm using the blush in Sahara. So for highlights, I want to go for a bronzy kind of highlight. Not really golden, but just on the bronzing side. So I'll be using this Makeup Revolution Bronzer in Rock and World. It's a pretty bronze color. It's a bronzer, but it works as a highlight for me because I'm dark skin. Uh -huh. I'm just putting this on my cheek and my brow. What you get? So 
So now I'm going to head now to set my face. Woo! It tastes funny. Oh my god. So I've been lining my lips with a sleek liner in lingering. And for my lipstick, I'm using this Max Factor lipstick in Rosewood. And I'll be applying the gloss to the lips. I don't think I would apply the gloss again. I want this lips to be matte. So I'll be going ahead to apply some translucent powder all over my lips. All over my lips because I want it to be matte. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the look. I hope this was very easy and simple to follow. I hope this was very helpful to those who are looking for something very simple to wear on a daily basis. Not too much and just something very simple. So I hope you really like it. And if you do, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.